So hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at my UI 8 on Galaxy S7 Edge. Like uh, the dream has uh, finally come true by the same developer as you saw in my last video, best ROM for the Galaxy S7 Edge, Aurora version 19. The same developer has made the my UI 8 for this uh, Galaxy S7 Edge 2. And you can actually install uh, this my UI 8 on any kind of Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge, S, L, K, F, F, D, everything. It's supported over here and if you are using a Snapdragon variant like the B, I guess, uh, guys already have a My UI 8. So as you can see, everything is working and if you are coming from my Aurora video and you are subscribed to the channel, welcome to the family. As I told you, I have the My UI for you guys over here. As you can see, fully working, the status bar and everything. Let's just take a quick look and after that, I will show you how to install. As you can see, you get a normal home screen over here. You can swipe around. Everything is working, Google Play Store and everything. Look at that app speed opening browser. The camera is not the My UI camera, it's the stock camera over here. As you can see, Explorer, everything is just working fine. FTP, M Drive, the downloads. As you can see, the compass, you can do like this and bring it right back. And also on the Galaxy 7, it uh, shows the pressure, the altitude in lifetime, which is just great thing. I've never seen this on my Redmi Note 3 music and it looks very beautiful on this curved display so if you are not ever used like mi note 2 which came out with the me mix this is the perfect example right over here you get the security app everything is working let's just go to the cleaner oh wow i have too much trash as you can see if you swipe up over here you get the app lock deep clean dual apps second space everything from the myo 8 is working flawlessly over here you get the clock clock is my favorite app as you can see very nice animations over here you can also drag it around to get a holographic effect the developer has also packed a walkman over here pretty nice and also the walkman contains the viper fx for android very nice equalizer this is your normal status bar you can expand it right over here as you can see you get all of the toggles but for the galaxy s7 you also get a performance toggle over here as you can see performance uh, mode on you can directly jump into the settings these are the normal my settings you get the <laughs> stock base of the marshmallow as you can see over here it's pretty hard to create a patch rom for the nougat right now because it's not even officially available for the own mi phones and you also get the stock s7 settings like what this developer is so awesome he has also provided this thing so you can control the brightness so as you can see brightness ladder is not available over here for some kind of weird reason and as this uh, developer is same as the aurora one he has also provided some awesome features such as this outdoor mode the smart manager has been removed from over here as you get the normal security settings you get the additional settings your normal developer options and everything the my ui hidden settings have been also available over here notification status bar you get the battery indicator let's just keep it for the percentage you can also create a second space just like the secure folder or a snox in your normal samsung phone also the developer has been added some edge screens from the galaxy apps too like i don't know whether these are uh, purchased or not but as you can see i've never used these ones uh, so every time you have to change the brightness, you have to come over here. There is no, no brightness light. Okay, wow. As I told you, brightness lighter was not available over there. Now it's there. It's still in a weird stage. This is the first build. You get the themes. As you can see, five themes have been already added. And if you go to the recent apps panel, blur and everything is working. You can actually see the recent applications just flowing through the edge. Wow. You have to try this on your own actually. The fonts might be off. As you can see, the clock is messed up. So let's just install this ROM. As you can see, if you hold down the power button, you already get the recovery mode the download mode shutdown reboot everything is present let's just shut down the device volume up power and the home button there you go galaxy s7 edge there you are in the top recovery go to the wipe advanced wipe dial with cache system data cache no need of internal storage or micro sd card just wipe it go to the install search for your rom as you can see my beta 1 wait for the aroma installer to pop up okay for some weird reason it will say only for node 5 and s6 edge plus over here as it's been ported from that roms go agree next as we have already wiped no and all of the CSC are present over here except India. So you will be not getting Volti over here. And if you want me to port it, I will at least try because <laughs> I'm not that good in it. Please let me know in the comment section below. But uh, for the best results, select for the BDU Germany as we have been tried it all the four months while the no good trial period. You can select for the Apple or Samsung. OG. I will go for the Samsung. Choose for the home 4x, 5x is not even available in the ROM, so it's just an option over there. And select your model as you can see, SLK all are present over here. I will choose F or FD and let's just hit next and it will install in just a minute. So the ROM has been installed. Let's just tap on finish, just reboot the system, wait till it boots. And after 8 to 5 minutes of booting, we are back. As you can see, the setup is a bit laggy right now. There you go, <laughs> just boosted the brightness. Just go through the setup quickly. So you can actually add the fingerprint scanner as you can see it's working let me show you and the fingerprint speed on this rom is just insane 
it just unlocks in the blink of the eye actually adding right now it will keep on vibrating your phone actually it's already done you can cancel it so you can actually skip this step the fingerprint scanner has been already added over there so don't worry about that setup complete so we have already uh, added our fingerprint scanner in the setup but we hit the cancel but it already gets actually added so if you are locked to your phone just tap it and as you can see i told you the speed is just insanely fast just tap the fingerprint scanner and it will unlock in just a blink also if you dial a number you get a nice space like image in the background looks very cool and here you have your play store it will crash because of no play services so you, link will be in the description you can download it separately install go to the explorer categories apk this is the best part install your google play services settings unknown sources and please tell me in the comment section below if i am going too fast so play services has been installed sorry for the bad exposure go to the apps go down over here install app scroll down to the google play services go to the permission manager and just enable everything let's just quickly do that so as you can see, I have accepted all of the permissions over here. Just go back to your home screen, go to your Play Store and it will be fully working. So right now I don't have any kind of internet connections. So I can't sign in over here, but that's basically it. So guys, thanks for watching. This was the full review and installation of the MyUI 8 on the Galaxy S7. Finally, you can install Xiaomi's latest firmware. Hope you guys enjoyed and please subscribe down there for more amazing Galaxy S7 videos and see you in the next one. Peace.